Good morning, Days with Jordan the Lion. How are you guys? I didn't get to bed till after 3 o'clock. And this guy's licking my ear at 8 o'clock, so tell me how fair that is. You tell me how fair it is that I worked for three days straight, and all I wanted was a little bit of sleep, and then I got this critter. Get out of there. Hey, you. Say hi to your friends. No, get out of here. Get, get your paw off my temple. What are you doing? What the heck is going on? What is going on? Everybody likes you. I don't. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Every every comment on the YouTube. Oh, look how adorable he is. If you guys only knew. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. I decided to wear these shoes today, my Chris Pauls, because they match my shirt. And I'm wearing, showing you guys specifically this because uh, I have uh, somebody who donated to the channel who loves shoes, and I wanted to, sh and he always loves to post pictures of his shoes. So I'm posting a picture of mine. Thank you, Michael Page, for your donation to the channel. All right, today is going to be fun. I kind of alluded to what I was going to do, but not really. This is what we're doing today. Every once in a while, eh, once, twice, three times a month, they give away a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And when I say giveaway, I shouldn't phrase it like that because they actually charge you quite a few thousand dollars. Uh, Shelly told me they charge her like, I think she said like $12,000 when you get that honor, you have to pay all that amount of money to have your star put in. Anyway, today, one of my favorite actors of all time is getting a star on the Walk of Fame. Some of you know him as Dan Connor from Roseanne. Some of you know him as the coach from Revenge of the Nerds. Some of you, like me, loved him as the Babe. That's how I got into Babe Ruth, was seeing John Goodman in the Babe. Um, he's been in just about every Coen Brothers movie. He's been one of the faces of comedy on television and in cinema. God, I love him. John Goodman. So I'm going to take Ja out, let him go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to walk down to Hollywood Boulevard because in about an hour and a half, two hours, he's going to get his star on the Walk of Fame. Now what I'm going to do for you guys is um, I'm going to take two things with me and see if I can get them to sign them. These are always good events that like um, they're usually really in a good mood and they'll just walk over and sign stuff. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, I want him to sign a baseball for me and see if he'll write the babe on there since I, that was one of my favorites. Um, not one of my favorite works of his, but just like I just love the movie in general. And I'm going to take my DVD of The Big Lebowski because I already have a poster signed by Jeff Bridges and John Goodman. But if he signs the DVD, I'm going to do a giveaway on my channel. I'm going to give it to somebody. All right? So let me take the little guy down here at my feet outside and uh, we'll head off down to Hollywood Boulevard. It's happening right in front of the Hollywood Wax Museum. Well, these Lego watches I wear are always a conversation starter. And, uh, you know, I have two of them because somebody who watches the show thought I'd like them and sent them to me. Every time I'm on a set or I'm working or doing anything, somebody always asks, where you got the watch? And I always say, I don't know. Um, somebody who watches my uh, YouTube show sent it to me. And then they want to know about the YouTube. So I was telling this guy last night about my YouTube show. And he, um, <clears throat> he was fascinated. He just couldn't get enough. He got to a point where he was going like, he's like, okay. I'll name out, I'll name the city in the greater Los Angeles area and you start firing off all the notable things that are there. And then he actually asked me kind of an interesting question. He said, so if like somebody just paid for you to go on a trip to like anywhere in the US, where would you go first? And I said, Baltimore. I don't know, you know, it was one of those weird things like out of all the places I wouldn't have expected myself to say that, but I was like is the first thing that came out of my mouth. <laughs> and I think there's like, there's a whole host of reasons, whole lot of things I would love to see there, but yeah, that would be one of the, the big cities that I would want to go hit first. Francis X. Bushman lived there, and uh, that's when he was like a model for all those famous statues that are all over the country now. And I know his, uh, e either his first house or apartment is now a landmark. And then, of course, the Babe Ruth Museum. Hey, a lot of things. Okay. I showed up an hour early, and he was out here signing autographs, so 
when I got here, but he was, by the time I could get over to the rail, he was already done, so maybe after. We are delighted to be able to do this ceremony. How many John Goodman fans do we have? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's see where everyone's from. Do we have anybody here from uh... a... <laughs> Meal Hirsch. Well, who's holding this guy? Thank you. It's about time. Man of the hour. Congrats, John. Long time coming. <laughs> Tess Harper. Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. No, it's um, Tom Hiddleston. Uh, Loki from Thor. Um, there he is. There's the dude. Lebowski. Great John Goodman. And he will receive the 2,604th star on our illustrious walk. Now, John went to, the, to Southwest Missouri State University. And he went there to play football. But an injury left him to, led him to switch his major to drama. He never returned to football and graduated with a degree in theater. He remembers the day in 1975 when he left his native St. Louis for New York, armed only with a degree from SMSU, $1,000 borrowed from his brother, and a dream of becoming a professional actor. He did not want to look back later and say, I wonder if I could have. So he made the rounds, worked at odd jobs, and just tried to keep busy. And boy, has he been busy ever since. Now in 2013, he won the National Board of Review Spotlight Award for his work in Argo, Flight, and Trouble with the Curve. He was also seen in The Artist, which won the 2012 Academy Award for Best Picture. Now, among John's many accolades are a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor and seven, seven Emmy nominations for his role in Roseanne. Woo! And by the way, his star is just a few feet away from that of his TV wife, Roseanne, which is actually over in the press area. The press is sitting on it. He also earned Emmy nominations for his starring role in TNT's Kingfish, A Story of Huey P. Long, and in the CBS production of Tennessee Williams, A Streetcar Named Desire. Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah! The Big Easy. Raising Arizona. Yeah! And The Big Lebowski. Woo! Well, we can tell definitely which ones are your favorites. And I could go on and on, but uh, I think it's time to bring him to the stage. Please welcome to the stage our honoree, John Goodman. Yeah! All right, now before you get to hear from John, we have a few uh, special guests who've asked to say a few words. Our first speaker today won an Oscar, Golden Globe, Screen Actors Guild, BAFTA, Critics' Choice, National Board of Review, and Independent Spirit Award, all of those last year. Now that was in the, in the category of Best Actress, for, she, for her, they were won for her performance as Ma in the film Room. She currently stars in Kong Skull Island with our honoree. Australia, we're in Vietnam in every type of weather, and he became my partner in crime. <laughs> we went on roller coasters together. He sat right next to me, was able to go toe to toe. <laughs> we went searching around in Vietnam for clothes and to try and find a shirt that would fit him. We tried all the local flavors. He has become a father figure to me in his in his way of supporting and caring, not just for me, but for everyone that is around him. My hope is, now that we are honoring him, that he is now ingrained in the veins of Los Angeles. He is on the roads that other actors, that other dreamers will walk down, will drive down, and they will see this, and my hope is, if for some reason, all of the information that's in the internet gets deleted and we never see any of his films again, he will be here still 
He will be embedded in the ground, and I'm so grateful <laughs> that he is here forever. He is a Walk of Famer, and his star is next to the stars of his father, Lloyd, and his brother, Bo Bridges, just down the street. Please welcome Jeff Bridges, who starred with John in the Big Lebowski. Yeah! The dude! The bag man. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Walter and John is um well, he's a, a good actor, he's a good man. John Goody. Yeah! Woo! He's one of us. He, um, he loves the outdoors and acting. Um, as a showman, he has explored the stages from Los Angeles to New York. <laughs> talking Broadway here, man. <laughs> He's done some weird little movies too. Uh, and he's lived like so many men. Prior <laughs> generations have lived their lives. He's doing the big Lebowski he speech that Walter gives at Donnie's funeral. Times. He's a man of our times. <laughs> and he has become a legend. Yeah! In your wisdom, Lord. You have through John, as you have through so many other bright, flowering young actors. Him, talking about men like Clark Gable. Yeah! Gabby Hayes. Uh, Roy Rogers to keep in the whole Western thing. Uh, Groucho Marx, Jimmy Tang. Woo! Uh, you get the idea. These men have lived for what they love. And so have you, Walter. You have lived for acting that you have loved so well. And so, Walter Sobchak, John Goodman. In accordance with what we think may be your final wishes, we have committed to these sidewalks in Hollywood, in the bosom of Hollywood that you love so well, <laughs> a star, a star for you, a star because we love you so well. What time is it? <laughs> afternoon? Good afternoon, my sweet prince. Awesome. Awesome. Classic. John Goodman has been a fixture in our popular culture for decades. Your Midwestern charm, your warm spirit, your unmatched versatility have made us roar with laughter and have brought us to tears. Your characters have brought joy to the generations of people across the world. For these reasons, you are truly deserving of this star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The full city council and the mayor of Los Angeles wish you a hearty congratulations for this achievement and for providing a place for your legions of fans across the world to come and enjoy and celebrate who you are and what you've accomplished. Congratulations, John Goodman. Goodman Day in Hollywood. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I'll try to get us out of here quickly. Uh, I'd like to thank the members of the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's intriguing that 
I can feel a part of uh, Hollywood history now. This, it's uh, something I never expected. It's amazing. Uh, Jeff Bridges, thanks for walking down here from Santa Barbara. <laughs> My old bowling buddy, El Dutorino. One of the greatest actors I've ever had the pleasure privilege to work with. It's yeah. truly really amazing that you came here today, man. Thank you. Woo! I will always steal from you. Tom, thanks for showing up today. Thank you. Uh, the great Brie Larson. Um, wow, what a future. What an amazing career she's had so far. And it's just starting. And Brie, uh, is cash cool for this? <laughs> That's the way I'd prefer to do it. <laughs> it's your tax time. I got some Flintstones crap he could put on eBay. <laughs> I'd prefer to handle it that way. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Bree. Um, I love you, and you are truly amazing and an inspiration, and I hope to God we get to work together again soon. And thanks. Um, I just uh, want to wrap this up. I, it, it's, it's incredible. I'd like to thank Legendary Pictures, uh, Warner Brothers, uh, for casting me in this film and putting it out, and uh, they're responsible for this. Um, my agency, the Gersh Agency, Bob, Gersh, Daisy Wu are here today. Thank you very much for everything. You put up with a lot over the years. Uh, Abe Altman, my accountant. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the uh, this week, especially the women, without whom I would not be here. Uh, a mother who had to scrape by on survival wages to raise two kids by herself. Uh, the many teachers tried to knock some sense into me. Some of it worked. My drama teacher, Judy Rethwich in high school, uh, the women and many women I've worked with in college, uh, and um, the craftspeople, the writers, teamsters, makeup artists, artists in general who make up the backbone of this business. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Roseanne. Yeah. I don't think I'd be up here if it wasn't for her. Uh, she really took a lot of heat, but uh, she was always right. And I love her. And my daughter, Molly, who always puts a smile on my face when I need it most. And then the love of my life, Annabeth, who for a long time put up with more than a, a, a person should have to or need to. And uh, we came out on top. Thanks, honey. I love you. Thank you very much. Well, it's all over. Everybody is gone as far as all the actors, and there's the star. That was awesome and chaotic. I'm so glad I came. If for no other reason, totally seeing a guy who's from the Midwest like me getting honored with a star, somebody who never thought he would ever get one, but then to see Jeff Bridges show up, he was wearing the same jelly shoes that the dude wore, he put his dude sweater on from the movie, and then his entire uh, speech was based off of the speech that Walter gives when Donnie, played by Steve Buscemi, dies in the movie, and they go out to scatter his ashes over the uh, beach of Malibu. 
He based his entire speech off of that, so if you were wondering why everybody was laughing, that's why. And as I'm leaving the, uh, the induction, there's a shirt of Jeff Bridges playing the dude. And I just got a donation from Jody Crawford, so thank you, Jody Crawford. If you're wondering why um, whenever I get a don donation, I mention it on the vlog, it's not to get more people to donate. That's not, that's not why I do it. I, um, I do it because, in my opinion, I was raised to always be appreciative of anybody that does anything nice for you and spends money on you or gives you anything. So I made it a rule when I started this channel that anybody that ever donated, I would always mention their name on the blog. If there's nothing else I can do, I can at least mention your name. And I know some people really like that, so that's why I do it. No guilt factor, no nothing. Why do you think that they might have left the, only the front of this building with the marquee? I know that, I guess you could film like a scene out front, but it's pretty disheveled looking. But they literally bulldozed the entire building. So I'm not exactly sure what the thought behind that was. Any ideas, guys? And it's not a set piece. This used to be a building, you can tell. In fact, early on in my vlogging, I believe I was walking by here when they were destroying this whole part. Weird. It is a beautiful California day. John Goodman day. If I owe you mail, I sent half of it yesterday and I'm gonna try and send the other half tomorrow early. Um, I was waiting to get a couple of things and I was trying to send um, anybody that buys my stuff from now on. I'm gonna start making like a mix CD of stuff that I like that kind of like is my personality. And that could change at any time. That could change like month to month. It may never ever be the same CD. It might always be the same CD. I don't know, but the one that I've been listening to in my car lately is what I'm gonna be sending people that have bought something. So that was what the holdup was. So. I don't know if I'll be able to get it in the mail for sure tomorrow. I'm gonna try. I'm actually doing a fan meetup tomorrow. A family who watches my vlogs asked me about a month ago if um, if we could all meet up today and, or I mean tomorrow, and I was like, of course. So we're going to, and it should be fun. They're gonna go vlogging with me. Wrestling with Pollyanna. Get Pollyanna. Are you biting her neck? Go get her. Go get her your buddy you getting Polly in his ears you looking oh look at him go look at him go no fear he loves it she likes it too go get her bud go get her bud what are you doing are, are you licking her face I looked over there and you were biting her and then I, I saw you licking her eyeballs now you're licking her ears look at him go